All right, what I'm going to show you here is um, how to start the sewing on your finger puppet. Um, everybody has gotten a rectangle of fabric. What you're going to do is fold the rectangle over, okay, so that you it's folded like this. So you're going to have one side that's folded, uh, has a fold, and then you're going to have three open sides. We're only going to sew up two sides. So we're going to sew up the top and the um, one of the sides here. Okay. We want to leave the bottom open because this is, if it's a finger puppet, your finger is going to go inside like that. Okay. Now what I find to um, be, to help is to mark where I'm going to sew. If, especially if you've not done much sewing before. This is very, very helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in one of the corners, okay, and I'm going to put a dot there. That I'm going to put my needle through that dot, and then I'm going to use my pinky finger to, um, to measure. Okay, So I'm going to put another dot on the other side of my pinky finger, another dot on the other side, so I just keep going. And I want to have dots in the corners. Okay, and then I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. Okay, then I am done making my dots. I do not have to sew this side because it's already folded, it's attached. So I don't need to sew that unless you want to sew this. Um, just for looks so that you have stitching all the way around. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down in this corner. So I have my thread. It's um, my thread is on my needle. It has a knot at the end. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to take my fabric and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the needle through the fabric on that dot. I'm going to pull it all the way through. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do today here is we're going to learn something called a whip stitch. This is a very easy basic stitch. If you know another type of stitching you can do that, but this one is very easy. So what you're going to do is you've gone through, you're going to take your needle and you're bring, going to bring it back through you're going to keep your loop of your thread on the other side of the needle. So you're going to keep it on the side that you've already sewn on. And then you're going to pull that needle all the way through. You want to make sure you're always pulling that thread all the way through. Do it fairly slow so that you can watch the thread to make sure that it does not get caught. So that you can kind of see how I'm making sure that it stays untangled. Okay. So next, I move on to, I keep my thread on this side, the side that I've already sewn, and then I'm going to take my needle and go through. I'm going to go through that hole again, or not the hole, but through the dot, the next dot, okay, pulling this through, making sure it's staying nice and even, okay, again, back through. all the way through. Okay, As you get more used to it, you can pull the thread faster, but each time my needle is going through the dot, okay, I'm pulling this nice and neatly through. Okay. So you see this you see the stitching on the outside. That what this will do when we are sewing um, our soft sculptures is this will help keep the stuffing in when we stuff it. Okay. Now I'm gonna sew this last little bit. It's going through that dot. And then where I end is um, I need to tie this off. Okay. And one way that I can tie this off is to come back and go under my last stitch okay, and pull the thread all the way through okay, and then 
under again. Okay, see how my needle is going under? Okay, I pull it through, but I don't pull it all the way through this time. This time I'm gonna make a loop, and then I'm gonna thread my needle through the loop, and this is what's gonna make that knot. Okay, all the way through, there's my knot. Okay, and then once I have made that knot, then I can take my scissors, and cut this off. But you want to make sure that knot's nice and secure before you cut it, because otherwise you um, will end up having to sew the whole thing through again. And then I'm also going to cut off the tail over here. Okay, and now I have my finger puppet. It's kind of for a fat finger. But there we go.